Welcome back to the Tracy Trendy Show, my lovelies. Another day, another dollar, and another drama. My loves. Um, this is a little story on the sister wives. And this one was a very old, 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 old story that got buried. And what gets buried in the dark earth will be revealed in the light. Yes, it will. And this re involves Dayton. That is Robin's son as well as Hunter, that is Cody's son. Apparently, little McKelty, that is Christine's daughter, posted on her Patreon that Hunter held together Dayton's face together while this accident occurred. But let's back up, my loves. When we were watching Sister Wise, faithfully watching, this story or this accident should not have happened um, where Hunter could be. Hunter was in Vegas. And the story was that Robin's kids were visiting their biological father. So why would Hunter be there? Well, it appears as if this all happened in Vegas. And there are facts and facts upon facts. So... This happened under Cody's watch. So this is another child that was kind of in harm's way. Remember, truly was one child that was in harm's way. She almost had kidney failure due to Cody and not tending to her. And the poor child was so dehydrated. Now, this boy was riding an ATV for the first time ever under Cody's watch. And he ran into a barbed wire. Yes, accident has happened, but they, I guess they didn't want any of that smoke from what the fans or whatever may see, say about it. So this was all buried and said it was happening. He was with friends and allegedly perhaps it was in where under his father's watch, his biological father's watch. But why was Hunter there? And plus the biological dad does not live did not live in Vegas in the time of Nevada at all, not even the same state. There has always been this debate, or shall I say belief, that Cody Brown was with Dayton at the time of the accident and that he was not just with friends as reported on the show. One big sticking point is that Hunter Brown was there at the time of the accident, according to McKelty's Patreon statement, which she later took down. Well, this means that possibly Dayton was not with his biological dad as reported on the show, but he it was in fact in Vegas where they live predominantly. Now here's more proof. According to the medical lien placed on Robert, Robin's former home, Dayton was hospitalized at the University Medical Center in Vegas for three days following the accident. Now, Robin Brown did not have the, her children properly insured, so a lien was placed on, upon her house. But in 2015, Robin sued her ex-husband to have his parental rights terminated to enable Cody to adopt the children. As a result, she had to provide text messages so you know to make her win her case. So she provided text messages for her asking Preston, that's the bio dad of her first three children, to be positive with Dayton during his December 2012 visitation. She wanted Dayton to not be a victim, encouraged her ex-husband to not make Dayton a victim. After the visitation, Robin sent a threatening message to Preston, accusing him of cor cornering Dayton for details about the accident. And the accident occurred in Vegas. Preston was not present for the accident. Dayton was with Cody when it happened. That is the truth. This is according to TV Showcase, and it pair and with the the messages that from this court filing, it seems as if this accident happened in Vegas. So she goes on in one of her text messages. She says, "I can't believe how upset the kids were when I picked them up. You lying to the kids, dragging them into adult issues, and upsetting them is really not emotionally healthy for them. If you need to know anything about Dayton's accident, just need to ask me, the parent." Now let's back up. The bio dad, if he was present among the bio dad, the dad would know what happened at the accident and he wouldn't have to be um, asking his children what had happened. So how did they get everyone to lie and say it happened while in David's care? I'll be so upset if I was Preston. 
How did they get everyone to lie and say it happened while in the bio dad's care? I'll be so upset if I were that man, I would have sued for defamation by now. But as you see, my loves, what happened in the dark will be revealed in the light. And, you know, uh, these little kids, Lissette McKelty, she's trying to get the Patreon popping and she needs the stories going. So she's spilling some tea and then she kind of had to take the tea back. But it's once it's out on the Internet, it's out there forever, my loves. So interesting, interesting, interesting. And uh, what do you guys think of that? Drop a line below. Subscribe if you have not subscribed, as well as hit the notification bell so you can continue getting this hot tea. And I will catch you all out on the flip side.